All right, thank you, Janice. Well, some of those New Year's resolutions mean starting some fad diets, and there's some you'll want to avoid. Dr. Beth Kitchen joins us. She's a UAB nutritionist. Good to see you this morning. It's good to see you too, Mike. My favorite fad diet of all time was just eat bacon all the time. Yeah, the bacon diet. Yeah, it makes much, you happy, so. right? Yeah. It makes you feel good <laughs> so for a couple days, then it gets a little old. All right, so how do you spot a fad diet? Is right. this pretty simple? Yes, we should avoid fad diets. This time of the year, though, we are really susceptible to them. It's the new time for New Year's resolution and weight loss is always a really big one. And let's face it, when you're struggling with your weight, it's pretty easy to fall for some of the claims that these diets make. Yeah, because you've tried others, so then this right. one seems like it's right. just so out of the norm. Exactly. But you say, hey, maybe that does maybe work. Maybe that's the one that's gonna right. work for me. And okay. so here are six tips. This is kind of your toolkit okay. for spotting a fad diet. Right. If a diet falls under any of these, you should probably go, mm, maybe I All shouldn't right. try that. So here's the first one. It promises big results. This is kind of the hallmark of the typical fad diet. Think 30 days, 30 pounds weight loss. Right. Uh, and, and so these are the types of diets that you really want to stay away from because they probably have very little evidence that you can lose that amount of weight in that amount of time. Everybody's different. And I've had patients and clients that all, you know, really lost different amounts of weight following the exact same diet. Okay. Next one. It's extreme. Mm -hmm. And this is how they get you to try to lose that weight. They're really super low in calories. Some are as low as 500 calories, which is really a dangerously low That's amount of calories. Tough. And now, if you did that for a couple days, even a couple weeks, probably wouldn't hurt you. But I worry almost more about the psychological damage of being that low in calories. A lot of people have like rebound binge eating. Okay. After you've suppressed yourself for that long, you can't keep it up. And one of these, you, we just talked about, like focusing on just certain foods. Like I'm only gonna exactly. eat protein. Right, I'm only, only eat, eat bacon. So they yeah. cut, you see these diets that they cut out whole categories of foods. Even diets that say don't eat any sugar. Now sugar's not good for us, right. but do we need to cut it out completely? Come on, let's be realistic here. And so focusing on a few foods that are either super bad for you or super good, just not realistic and not necessary. Some of these are crazy theories of fad diets too. I've right. seen actually some of these on some, yeah. some, um, some television shows. Right, you'll see they have this crazy hypothesis. Yeah. This is why this works. You'll see things like negative calorie foods. Eat this food, it'll help you to burn more calories <laughs> and you'll lose weight. There's no such thing as a negative yeah, calorie food. If I eat plenty of celery, yeah. I'll disappear at some There's point. There's a new diet book out now that's says don't eat cheese because it's like crack cocaine on your brain please let's not be not ridiculous, true. Okay. right so so, right. so don't 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 buy into that and then stuff. if it costs too much well that it's costly that if, me out right there. <laughs> if if you're spending a lot of money on things like supplements products that mm -hmm. you know most of these don't have any evidence that they work so stay away from those now some programs may be costly but they may be worth it yeah. weight watchers you have to pay but it's a good proven program the ones that are operated by a doctor care too. some of them too good. yeah and the last tip is if it's temporary, if it says, oh, you're only gonna do this for 30 days. Okay, that may help you, you know, get a jump start, like they say, but if it's a 30 day or a two week kind of proposition here, you're not really learning lifelong skills. Some people like this, it gets them energized, right. but I find them to be, again, a little, what I would call quackish. Well, so, I, don't, I don't know if it's a fad diet. I've always had luck just cutting out sweets and- Yeah, just cutting smaller back. Smaller portions, exactly. moderation. You know, yeah. it's a boring message, Mike, yeah. but it works. It does work. It works. Dr. Beth K works as well.